I'd rather spend $400 on a kit than $400 on a tree. That's just me. All right, I am at my Home Depot. I love my Home Depot and the staff here. I am actually here to get something, but might as well film the tool sales while I'm at it. Okay, I need something for my garage door. But I think this is all I need. So for the pack out rolling tool chest, that's the big boy, 229. 119 for the extra large toolbox, which that went up in price. This used to be a hundred bucks. Pity. It is, the pack out system is nice, you guys. $89, sorry, uh, $90 for the 22 inch pack out large toolbox. This one does have issues when it comes to the handle that's up on top. 149 for the two drawer toolbox. Great system, you guys. Still, same thing for the Tough System 2.0, $100 for the two drawer system. I love their drawers. They're nice and smooth. Was $129. Milwaukee Packout, sorry, Ryobi Link, $34 for the crate. $39.97 for the small toolbox. It was $44.97. For the medium toolbox, $54.97. I do love the Ryobi Link system, you guys. I do. $89.97 for the large uh, toolbox with wheels and the handle. The handle is detachable. Done videos on these. I actually use these uh, a lot at my house. I don't use the Tough System, the Rigid, or the Milwaukee. I actually use the Ryobi Link, but I want to change that to the Flex. All right, so when it comes to these sales, this is $89 your choice. You can get the... They have these up there too, but they just have them over on display, except for this one. See, Ryobi should have added this to their free tools over there. They should have. Uh, you can get the circular saw, the six and a half inch, single head reciprocating saw, which I have, get the cutoff tool, you get the impact driver and drill driver, both compact and brushless. Fun stuff, right? Yeah. You gotta always love it. <laughs> So that's this display. When it comes to the Milwaukee Packout over here, they have, uh, yeah, they, they, you don't really save on these per unit. You pretty much just instantly save. If you spend $300, you save 90. If you spend $200, you save 50. You know, if you're gonna buy the Packout unit, the Packout system, you're gonna save no matter what, but this doesn't really look good when it comes to the amount you gotta spend at once. Because a lot of people accumulate their pack out or their tool storage stuff within, uh, you know, within time. And so this just forces you to buy it now. And so we already went through that stuff. Like those are the prices for these units. So, so yeah, it's uh. See, like the 249 for that, that is absolutely insane. 249 for a cooler, that is insane. It is. What? For a drain port? Okay. Milwaukee prices are really, really crazy for certain stuff. All right, so still $100 for their uh, drill and impact driver kit was $169. $59 for the 18 volt digital inflator. $139 for their subcompact two tool combo kit, drill driver and impact driver. Comes with two batteries, charger in a bag. $19.88 each for a couple of flashlights. Three kit, 750 lumens. Oh, this kit. This kit is terrible. Don't buy this kit, you guys. $300 for this kit. Yeah, don't, do not buy this, you guys. Dual driver, impact driver, six and a half inch circular saw, single hand reciprocating saw, vacuum and a light. Don't get that. Spend the money on the brushless stuff. $100 each, impact driver kit or dual driver kit. It's Oregon $169 for both of them which why would you do that? Uh, I just get them each. You know, you're probably gonna pay less taxes on those than this, and that was 229. Yeah, okay. 
139 for the two four amp hour two four amp hour batteries. This see Makita should have added this to the free tool list. Two hundred dollars was two twenty nine for their subcompact brushless Starlock uh, Max multi tool. That should have been a free tool. That should have been one sixty nine for their eighteen volt subcompact uh, combo kit. Drill driver, an impact driver, two batteries, charger in a bag. 119 for their 24 inch large box with wheels and the handle for the Tough System 2.0. $22 for the shallow tray. $29.97 for the deep tray. And $85 for the, the medium toolbox. Oh, what about this? And $65 for the small 22 inch uh, toolbox. Which, uh, I, if I remember last year, they had this in a kit for the Atomic. I think you got this for free with it. I think that was last year's uh, holiday sale, but that's not included this year. Let's see. Let's see my clearance section. DeWalt, you're doing good, good job. Let's take a look at the clearance section by me. I'm curious. 135 for their uh, 16 gauge, two and a half inch straight finish nailer. $84 for the, as a kit, that's not bad actually. Comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery for the rotary tool, which I use that a lot actually. I love it, it's actually a good tool. Uh, $40 for just the tool only, that's not bad. And at 40 bucks, that's worth it. But that's pretty much it. $45 for that uh, 12 volt uh, 3 and 3 eighths cutoff tool. Circular saw, sorry. And when it comes to power tools, that's pretty much it. They really don't have power tools on clearance at my store. <coughs> that, that's, that never has any good tools. Let's see if you compare that to the Atomic uh, bandsaw. Uh, look at that gap. Like the, that M12 is amazing because it has a much bigger gap. $219 for that saw, but you can get that for free if you could get that kit. Which would have been nice if Milwaukee added that as a kit. They should have an M12 sale next year. I'm just saying, Milwaukee. I want the flex tool storage system. That's that's what I want. I, I want the gray, the gray and black. One thirty nine for the Milwaukee pack out cart only. Same thing for the the, the twenty two inch eighty uh, one sixty four for the three drawer toolbox. See one nineteen. That was a hundred. That's a disappointment. Forty nine dollars for the for the crate. $49.97 for the pack out large organizer. $34.97 for the for the small uh, organizer, which I actually use this, including the Milwaukee pack out bag to go to the gun range. $44.97. I'll show you that setup if you guys want to see that. Without the uh I don't want to even say it without the my tool for it inside. Forty-four ninety-seven for the slim large organizer. I still use this for my screws. And twenty-nine ninety-seven for the slim compact organizer. Yeah, this is the bag that I also bring to the gun range. Uh, Forty-nine ninety-seven, the fifteen-inch packout tool bag. Or for hundred dollars, the fifteen-inch packout tote. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hundred dollars for the dolly. That's useful. And to one hundred and nine dollars for the compact cooler, which I think that's that. I do not actually have the cooler at my location right now. I think that's sold out. Uh, three sixty nine for the packout radio, which is absolutely ridiculous for a radio. 
just to put it on, uh, on your pack out. Milwaukee, you need to drastically lower that price. You guys are, yeah, you lower that price. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna buzz through these really quick. All right, so I've been through these. I'm just gonna tell you the recommended tools that I would pick up if I were you that are the most useful and most, the best bang for your buck. With the Ryobi, uh, with the Ryobi uh, kit, the hammer drill kit, I'd get the impact driver, seven and a quarter inch circular saw, or the impact wrench. Those are the top ones, the top three I would get out of those first thing. Number one is that the impact wrench, I'd get that number one. If you don't have an impact wrench, that's a very powerful one. It could take off truck lug nuts off very easily. That's what I'd pick up if I were you. We're gonna ignore this to side stuff. All right, so when it comes to the Milwaukee, you can either get two free tools or one free tool with two kits. The ones that I would pick if I were you, the single hand reciprocating saw, the, the blower, the router, or, oh, they don't have that much. See, Milwaukee's free tools are terrible. If they had an impact wrench here, it's that, that would be better. Uh, that's what I would pick if I were you. Uh, the single hand reciprocating saw, uh, or the blower. That's that's it. I'm sorry. Like or the router, obviously the compact router. So those three is what I would recommend. But if you need a grinder, you have it. If you need the hydraulic uh, impact driver, you got it right there. Tire inflator. Like, but those are the three I recommend. All right. So for, for the rigid, you could either get two uh, tools for free, or you can get one tool for free. Uh, if you get, obviously you're, you know, you don't really have a choice unless you want two reciprocating saws or two oscillating tools. You get the jigsaw, circular saw, or a battery. Uh, yeah, Rigid's tools really aren't that great, you guys. I'm not a fan of them. All right, when it comes to the Makita, you get two free tools with the $400 kit or one free tool with the two, uh, $200 kit. Uh, the tools I recommend obviously the six and a half inch circular saw uh reciprocating saw or the grinder the x-lock grinder that's those are the three i recommend reciprocating saw six and a half inch circular saw or the x-lock grinder and of course makita's compact router i wish that they had like an impact wrench in there or an impact driver they could have expanded that better 249 get that dewalt kit you guys it's fantastic i wish it came with a power sack battery but i'd get that kit if i were you all right so but dewalt actually has the best assortment of tools one kit with two free tools and two kits with one free tool and the stuff i recommend is the atomic uh impact wrench the uh, xr three inch cutoff tool the atomic bandsaw or the atomic sds hammer drill or the router I just want to point out really quick that these videos are very important because a lot of people don't know what these sales are. So that's why I keep uploading these because more people need to see these sales to actually get these deals. The more people that see these videos, the better. So I'm hoping that a lot of people see this so that they could actually get these deals before they go out.